In about a third of patients who come into the epilepsy monitoring unit with suspicion for medically refractory epilepsy, it turns out that they actually have non-epileptic seizures, which look the same as epileptic seizures, but the electricity in your brain isn't the cause. So the medications we use aren't effective. For those patients, the treatment that's been shown most effective is called cognitive behavioral therapy. And at SLU Care, we have a neuropsychologist who specializes in the treatment of non-epileptic patients with cognitive behavioral therapy. So for most individuals with psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, they've spent considerable time and resources seeking out a medical cause for their symptoms. Their symptoms really do manifest as physical symptoms, and it would be very common for them to get a full neurological workup, including spending multiple nights in an epilepsy monitoring unit. However, what's different between epileptic seizures and non-epileptic seizures is that those individuals with non-epileptic seizures don't have the same sort of electrographic uh, markers that we see during a clinical seizure during uh, the workup in the epilepsy monitoring unit. And what this tells us is that their seizures that they're experiencing are not neurological or not thought to be neurological in origin and are likely of unknown medical origin. Or there's no clear medical explanation for their symptom presentation. And oftentimes this leads uh, many clinicians to um, a diagnosis or at least a provisional diagnosis of psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. And what psychogenic means in the first part of non-epileptic seizures is that of a likely psychological origin, um, which is to mean that the physical symptoms are essentially a result of emotional distress and it oftentimes occurs outside the awareness of the individual. So the individual may not feel as though they're under particular distress, but they're still feeling these physical symptoms. And they're very real for the individual. For them, oftentimes, it's very challenging to understand how they could be different from a medical or medically explained episode. So typically, from a diagnosis standpoint, a neuropsychologist may be involved along with the epileptologist to look at how the individual is functioning from an emotional standpoint. And also that might include some assessment of personality variables. Um, so we can better understand who the individual is, how they process and handle um, emotion. And from there, it's very fortunate that uh, we're, we are able to provide treatment in the form of cognitive behavioral informed psychotherapy. This is relatively new. In the past about eight to 10 years, we have some great clinical trials that have been done at other institutions showing that individuals with psychogenic non-epileptic seizures really can benefit from a course of a psychotherapy that is aimed specifically at their symptom management and helping them to better cope and understand their condition. So for some individuals, therapy can drastically reduce uh, the number of psychogenic non-epileptic seizures that they are experiencing. In addition to improving their overall well-being, their social functioning, how they're getting along day to day, and their, their general uh, psychological state. At our institutions, patients really do have the benefit of having neuropsychologists integrated into the epilepsy center and working alongside the neurologist, which leads to a high level of communication in working through the diagnosis and treatment planning. For patients who have received a diagnosis of psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and are interested in engaging in therapy, I strongly encourage them uh, to get in touch with our institution as there are options for treatment.